Okay, we're speaking about Chacham um, Asof from Tisrach, right? We said before the Gula comes, the Torah has to become Sirchon, which the Zohar says all life, all Panimus will be removed from it, and, um, and it'll become like a disgusting thing. Okay, we're not talking about everything. There'll still be Torah being learned. But this is, it's going to be a phenomenon that this is the way it will be learned. Okay, now I just want to take, um, before I go, I want, I want to explain the Chazal, Chacham So from Tisrach, but I want to tell you a very, very important episode. I've been asked this question many, many times. Many, many times. How can it be that there are Tamani Chachamim, even massive Tamani Chachamim, who act very, very improperly? It might be in their moral life, it might be in their financial dealings, it might be in their Beinam L'Chavero, right? How can that be? So the answer is found in the Gra on Mishlei. The Gra says like this, there's two, two Gra's in Mishlei. Number one, the Gemara Bracha says, yeah, it's on Daf Ches, I think, it says um, on the Pesach, Eis Matzah, it brings many pshat in what's Eis Matzah, right? Um, and the final pshat, right, is that um, Beis Akisi, right? Toiv, right, um, Eis Matzah, and it says this is the best pshat. The best pshat is Beis Akisi, yeah? So the goal asks what? It's better than Teira, Eis Matzah Zu Teira, Eis Matzah Zu Isha, Eis Matzah Zu Re, Eis Matzah Beis Akisi? So you say, no, Beis Akisi is, yeah, when a person says, the gross says he sowed. Torah is like rain, right? Pouring out there, whoever came this morning probably got soaked. The Torah is like rain. Rain, when rain falls on the, on the ground, it does two things. It makes the plants grow and it makes the weeds grow, yeah? If you weed your garden, then you'll have a nice garden. If you don't weed your garden, then um, you'll have a lot of weeds. It'll kill all your plants, yeah? So says the Gra, basic he say is before you learn Torah, you have to be um, motzi the psolas from yourself. Yeah, you have to be motzi the psolas from yourself. And the way to do that is through musr. Through musr, through esponus, through self-introspection. Right? And that he calls basic he say. That's pulling the psolas you know, out of yourself. If you don't do that, yeah, says the Gra, then what's going to happen is the Torah will impact you and it'll make your bad meanest much worse. It'll make your bad um, hashkaf is much worse. It'll actually do the opposite. It'll pull you farther away uh, from the truth. And that's why we see uh, sometimes people who are acting improperly and they're learning a lot of Torah. But as the Kutzker once said, someone asked, he said, um, I just finished Shas. I just went through Shas. Yeah? The Kutzker said, but did Shas go through you? Yeah. Lamaisa, a person can learn Torah and it can have no impact on him whatsoever. In fact, it can make him even, even worse. So we have to understand that. Not every person who's wearing a frock and an up hat and calls himself a Rav or even a Rosh Shiva is somebody that we can look up to. And the, if, if we see that um, uh, people are acting improperly, right, we can't use that as a proof that there's a problem with the Torah. It's just the opposite. It means that they didn't makayim beisakisei, they weren't makmarach um, beisakisei, they didn't clean themselves out, and therefore the Torah did not help them, it actually, um, it actually harmed them, yeah? Now, the fact that there are uh, Rabbanim who might not be acting properly, there's not a new phenomenon, yeah? When I said, Chazal tell us, you're not supposed to learn from a Rav Shein Hagan. What's a Rav Shein Hagan? I have a Jew in my Sefer. It says Sani Shmua. It means that um, he's doing things which are um, shady. Um, he has a bad reputation, has a bad name. Yeah? There's things in the times of Chazal. What's the difference between now and between 2,000 years ago, 1,000 years ago? Is that 2,000 years ago there was no internet, there was no newspapers, there was no things. It, it didn't, it, you know, it stayed, it stayed localized, yeah, more or less, and somebody, unless someone was really terrible. Today, you know, you can have one person somewhere in the world doing something bad, and already the entire uh, world knows about it. Yeah, it knows about it, right? And the fact that one person is a Rav Shana Hagun, or two or three, however many they manage to dig up, yeah, that's not a Pirchan Kla Yisrael. It's not a Pirchan the Torah, right? It just means that they weren't Mark of a right? So that's really something, something we really have to know. There's definitely people who are just, you know, um, they're not... Um, they're not Mark Beis Akisei. They didn't. They didn't. Mekayim. What the Gra is saying here. 
and we have to understand that. And we have to understand that that doesn't mean that, that's not a question on the Torah, that's a question on, on, on the people. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu should help us and guard us from this and, and help us ourselves to realize that as people who are learning Torah, that it's a great danger to learn Torah without learning Musr at the same time. I 